Hey, Dimitri. Thanks for the uh, revision on the OST original soundtrack uh, cover. I like what we've got going on. Why don't we just uh, jump on over to it? All right. We should do the final composite in Canva uh, as well. So I just have ease of use and the ability to switch up the assets, but we're doing concepts. So first and foremost, <clears throat> um, in the logo. So I do like that you pulled the original soundtrack down underneath again. It kind of re recenters the logo where my version was a little fatty. <clears throat> not my cyberpunk version, not my Gmail version. Uh, where are we at? Oh, and we should uh, all show, well, while we're on the subject, we should turn on our soundtrack. Yeah. I make sure that's not super loud. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. <clears throat> um, yeah, it should be fine. Well, maybe I turned down a little bit. Oh, that. This, this is scooch. All right, cool. Um, as you can see, we've got eight tracks. There's seven showing here, but we're we're getting there. We're getting there. I think we're we're probably within that that four to six week mark. <clears throat> okay. So um, let me take a look here. So that's where I was at. Uh, all right, I got distracted. Um, where did it go? Is it here? Ah, cool. Okay. So yeah, so in my version of the of the logo, I was playing around with a fatter version. I think yours is better. But uh, one thing I want to point out is that in our logo, the E's, of course, um, they uh, they align the letter E's. Uh, but also here, I had to break it in my case here. But um, I basically uh, make sure that we have the L's aligned as well. It just looks better. Um, I, I might be a little OCD about the thing, but it is what it is. So I I noted that that's good. Um, I think I'm not a big fan of the of us having this fully cut off. I I think like I can almost see it, but um, it's just like kind of fade out. Uh, I think we can fade it out for sure, but I feel like we could probably keep some of that detail there. Um, overall, the thing is metal. Um, it might be a little too much metal. It's so good. <clears throat> um, the uh, I, I I like the light bursts that are coming from the throne. It, it like it's almost like you know like like backlighting, but also like weird speed lines. Super super cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I really like, I mean, conceptually, I, I like where we're at. And I think it doesn't have to make a ton of sense. I mean, we're a, a throne in space is super good. Uh, and then what we were talking about here is also then uh, what we're going to do for the back, right? Uh, what is this? Yeah, I think it's there. All right, cool. Um, yeah, so on the back, I think we could probably take, um, and I think it's it's important probably to keep all this information here. We can ad adjust the, um, the back logo. Um, but I was thinking we could have... Um, the empty throne, uh, it's going to be super blurred out, but the empty throne itself uh, here. So kind of like a, a mirror of that. So um, other than that, I, is there anything else? I mean, I kind of want to, I, I like where we're at with the, the color tones. Um, also, one of the things that uh, I've, I've been enjoying um, is in my version, um, I kind of like the I like the glowing the glowy lettering. Again, we can do this final composite here. So in in the in Canva itself. So, um, but uh, I want to kind of keep that for a style. But if you want to render it as an image in the in digital elements and and apply a glow, um, totally up to you. But uh, yes, I was thinking about that. Um, other than that. Yeah, I mean, I think that's that's pretty much it because I, I mean, I'm looking at this here too. I think we could just do a better, I mean, get into rough out, right? So we can do a, a better blend there. Um, on the bone throne itself, it's been a little while since I looked at this thing. Um, so we had him sitting. Let me take a look. Uh, I think we did it in conjunction with so much history. <laughs> uh, let me take a look. I think this was the final. Um, oh, it's on repeat. I don't want repeat. I want the next one. Let's go over there. There we go.
we have the version without him sitting in it? I think we do. <laughs> um. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah, so I think I think what we're also missing here, kind of coming back to this, is um is just that this this bone throne has a lot of character. <clears throat> and I think I think when I'm looking at this bad boy, um We could probably play around with that too. We could probably bring this thing. Um, maybe we could do a thing where it might be too noisy, but we could bring it back uh, like uh, underneath the. Think, <clears throat> well, we can take it underneath them. Um, we take the. I think. I, and basically, what I'm saying here is, I really like the this like this this cool like weird bone effigy thing that we got going on here. Um, I think we should bring that into, even if we just fade it out a bit more, you could put it underneath the Interstellar Sun of Loco, or, or we could, um, yeah, I think we could probably do that. We can give that a try. Um, yeah, that would be my feedback. I think I, I would bring in a little few more of those details just because it is a really good design aspect. Um, I think the, the it's sitting on top of the planet feels kind of interesting. I like it, so I'm not going to go too far there. Um, and I think, yeah, I think that's the, the round of feedback. So, um, all right, cool. Well, I'll get this video up for you, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, everybody.